I'm sticking to it. Restful endpoints just aren't enough anymore. And I get why that might sound a bit confusing, but the consumer of your endpoints is changing. It's not always a browser or a mobile app. Today, your API might be getting called by something else like a CLI tool or even a large language model. So in this video, I'm going over this new protocol called an MCP, which stands for Model Context Protocol. You can think of it like a RESTful endpoint, but reimagined for these new consumers like large language models. If you're new to the channel, I'm Eric Roby, a software engineer with over 10 years of experience, and I've helped over 100,000 developers learn and grow within their craft. And just before we dive in, this video is sponsored by Postman. They reached out to show me their MCP catalog, and all I have to say is it's amazing. So with that, let's go ahead and dive into the video. All right, so first, let's go over just quickly what a RESTful endpoint is and kind of what they look like. So you're going to have a REST client, which passes a API URL to a RESTful service, like it can be like slash API slash data. It communicates to some kind of database. We pass it back to the RESTful service, and then we return usually a JSON response back to the client. Now, without MCP and you're working with an LLM, you're going to pass in a unique API to external resource one, and it's going to do the exact same thing. We're going to do the exact same thing with external resource two involving RESTful endpoints. And then we're going to do the same thing with an external resource for three. So if we want an LLM to be able to communicate with like three separate external resources, you're going to need to set up unique APIs and maybe build separate RAG systems for each API endpoint. Now, when using an MCP, your LLM only needs to talk to one unique MCP server. And now that MCP server will automatically do all the other commands behind the scenes. It allows us to easily be able to implement different pieces of data into our LLM MCP application without having to create all these separate types of endpoints when we can just call one, which is the MCP server. So how are we going to be using an MCP in this video? We're going to be creating an MCP server, which connects to a PostgreSQL database, which is going to be using the Northwind data set, which is a tutorial data set created by Microsoft, which has suppliers, customers, employees, products, and shippers. So it's a big database with a bunch of relational data that will come back to our MCP server. We're going to be using the large language model of Claude that will communicate to our MCP server, which communicates to our PostgreSQL database. So let's go ahead and jump into Postman. Now, Postman Postman has a catalog for MCPs, which tells you exactly how to use that MCP server and then exactly how to set it up locally and then integrate within your application. So all you have to do is go over to API network on Postman, jump into MCPs where they talk about what their model contacts protocol catalog even is. It says this workspace is your front door to the growing ecosystem of MCP servers. And it talks about all the different publishers they have and how you can set them up with minimal effort. So if we go ahead and jump into their public MCP servers, we can see this is the set of Postman collections for exploring and interacting with their MCP server types. So we can come into here and check out the collections that they have currently available in their public MCP servers. And you can see all of these different publishers and companies that allow you to easily use their MCPs. Now, what we're going to be using here is the PostgreSQL. Now, the PostgreSQL MCP server is a way for us to be able to manipulate and use a real life Postgres database using an LLM that will do all of the selecting, inserting, updating and deleting. Now, right here, they tell you exactly how to set up this Postgres MCP using Docker, which is what we're going to be using, where you can say Docker run install, where we're going to set up this MCP Postgres. And then here we just need to pass in the Postgres host port database, and then also the username and password if you have one. Now, I already have a Postgres database set up using the Northwind data, which is a great SQL data set that allows you to really learn how relations and data work. Now, if we go into Claude Desktop, this is an LLM that is free to use where we can set up and connect our Postgres MCP to. If we come over here into Claude and we say settings and we go to developer, Right here, we can set up an MCP protocol. So we can say edit config. You're going to get this Claude desktop config.json. We need to place this inside our IDE of choice. And I'm going to be using VS Code. So we can go ahead and just grab this file, drop it in here, and it's going to tell us, hey, you have a Claude desktop config. Do you have any MCP servers you want to add here? And we do. So I'm just going to paste in our new command, which is going to be Postgres. We're going to be using Docker, where we're using the exact same argument we just used in our terminal to set up our local instance of our MCP. Now, if we save this file and we go back to Claude and we just close out 
and I'm going to close out of Claude and reopen it so it has the MCP configurations this time. And now here we are, if we go back up into Claude and we say settings and we go to developer, we can see that we have a running instance of this MCP server. So now we can ask it questions about the database set. For example, I can say, who are the top five consumers by total money spent? Now this doesn't make sense to any other LLM, but ours will know exactly based on our database. And you see, it's going to try a couple of different things. So the first time it failed, the second time it might fail, but then it's going to eventually get it and be able to find all the data based on our data set and the queries that it's running. And here it is, it's able to actually use our database. So it's saying quick stop is 110,277. Then the second company, then the third company, fourth and fifth, all based on querying. So if we go ahead and look at the query that it actually created to interact with our database using this MCP, we can see that it says, you know, select C.customer ID, C.company name. We're going to have the sum from customer C, join on two different tables, group by, order by, limit by five, and then return it to us. We could paste another question and say which employees have processed the most orders, where it creates a custom query for our Postgres database again, where it's now gonna tell us the nine people who have now done the most orders. And again, this is all from the North Wind data set. So go ahead and check it out if you're curious what this data is coming from. This is the future of backend development. I'm telling you, it, we're, there's gonna be chatbots integrated into everything. Now I'm not saying this as a way of like software engineers are dead. I'm saying it in a way of like, we are going to need to learn how to implement MCPs because chatbots from the user experience is only gonna get more popular. And then we're gonna need MCP servers to be able to use use all the customer data to be able to fetch and populate data to the user that they actually want. And this is going to be so unbelievably interesting in the future. And Postman is absolutely leading the way with MCP servers. Go ahead and check out the MCP catalogs and I'll see you in the next video.